Alright mates, how's it going? In today's video, it's episode 17 of Lord of the Clans by Christy Golden. So let's go! Fueled by grief and anger, Saul marched right up to where he dropped Lord Langston. I should kill you. Mercy, Lord Thrall! When did you show me mercy? When did you intervene to say Blackmore? Perhaps you've beaten him enough. When did those words cross your lips? I wanted to. Right now you believe those words. But I have no doubt that you never truly felt that way. Let us dispense with lies. Your life has value to me. For the moment. If you tell me what I want to know, I'll release you. And let you return to your dog of a master. Langston looked somewhat doubtful of that. You have my word. Of what worth is the word of an orc? Why, it's worth your pathetic life, Langston. Though I'll grant you that's not worth much. Now, tell me. How did you know which camp we'd be attacking? Langston crossed his arms, like a sulky douchebag child, so Thrall formed a thought, causing tree roots to burst out of the ground and grip the bugger tightly. Yeah, the trees obey my command, as do all the elements. We didn't know. It's just Blackmore's put knights at all the remaining camps. So no matter where we struck, we would have encountered his men. Hardly a good use of resources. What else can you tell me? What's he been doing to ensure my capture? How many troops does he have? Again, Langston tried to refuse to answer, so Thrall asked the Roots to squeeze the bloke even tighter. Oh, he desperately wants you back, Thrall. You were the key to everything. What are you talking about? When he found you, he knew he could use you. Didn't you ever wonder why he taught you how to read? Gave you maps? Taught you strategy? It's because he wanted to lead an army. An army of orcs. Thrall's anger then started to rise. You're lying. Why would he want me to lead his rivals? Because they wouldn't be his rivals. You'd lead an army of orcs against the Alliance. Thrall then stood there, his mouth agape. He'd always known Blackmore was a dick, but this... This was treachery on a staggering level. You were the best of both worlds. The power, strength and bloodlust of an orc, combined with the intelligence and knowledge of a human. With you in command, the orcs would be invincible. An Aedilus Blackmore would be what? King? Lord of everything? Langston nodded, furiously. You can't imagine what he's been like since you escaped. It's been hard on all of us. Hard? I was beaten and made to think I was less than nothing. I faced death nearly every day in the arena. I and my people are battling for our very lives. For freedom. That, Langston, is hard. Do not speak to me of pain and difficulty for you've known precious little of either. Langston fell silent, and Thrall started to ponder everything he'd just learned. It was a bold and audacious strategy, but Aedilus Blackmore was a bold and audacious man. But if his aim had been to win Thrall's complete and utter loyalty, why did he treat him like shit? However, Thrall then started to recall that Blackmore had not always been a dick. There'd been moments, here and there, where the bloke had been more open, almost fatherlike. Hell, Thrall had adored the man, right up until the moment he was done with him. After that point, all Thrall had really thought about were the times when Blackmore had been mean, or brutal, slurring his words and acting like a real obnoxious twat. And it was in that moment where Thrall finally understood. He'd been too young to piece it together back at Durnhold, but the bloke was an alcoholic, addicted to a toxic substance that made him feel powerful, not unlike the orcs. <sighs> I keep my word. You and your men can leave but with no weapons, no food, and no mounts. You will be followed, but you will not see who follows you. If you speak of an ambush, or attempt any kind of attack, you will die. Is that understood? Again, Langston nodded furiously, so Thrall asked the roots to unsqueeze. The man then got up, brushed himself off, and scrambled away. Thrall then looked up at an owl hanging about in the tree, minding its own business. Follow them, my friend, if you will. Report back if they plan action against us. Ooh. Ooh. A short time later, Thrall and the rest of the orcs had gathered up the bodies of the fallen and had built several pyres, the largest and most decorated of which belongs to Orgrim Doomhammer. And after a few moments of solemn, respectful silence and mourning, 
Elscreen went ahead and nudged Thrall subtly, informing him he should probably say a few words. So, he turned to address the crowd. I've not been long in the company of my own people. I don't know the traditions of the afterlife, but I do know this. Doomhammer died bravely, in battle, trying to liberate his imprisoned kin. We honor him now in death, as we all honored him in life. Orgrim Doomhammer, you were my father's best friend. I could not hope to know a nobler being. Speed now, my friend, to whatever joyous place and purpose await you. Another short while later, after the rite was done, Thrall, Hellscream, and Drek'thar sat down together to discuss what was next. Orgrim Doomhammer may be gone, but what he stood for could never be forgotten. What encampment is next, my war chief? Thrall winced at the title. He was still getting used to that. No more encampments. Our force is large enough now. For what? Thrall. To cut off the head of the snake. We storm Durenhold and liberate all the camps at once. Meanwhile... I told him nothing, of course. He captured and tortured me, but I held my tongue. He let us go out of sheer admiration. Right. Tell me more about these feats he performs. And so, Langston regaled the tell of the horses going mental, the lightning strikes, all the different things that happened involving roots, and Blackmore listened, feeling more and more proud of himself because apparently Thrall's command of the elements was all thanks to him. I fear others were not likely as staunch as you in the face of torture, my friend. They all slightly know the truth. We need to think like Thrall. What's his next move? What's his goal? 